The title of our book is called So Cute Penguins, and it's a nonfiction book. Will melt your heart. Who wants a hug? What are you doing out in this blizzard, bird? Don't you want to fly south for the winter? I'm in Antarctica. You can't get more south than this. Oh, you're a penguin. This icy weather is just another day at the beach for you. Slip and slide. Waddling is an adorable way to get around, but not a fast one. When they're in a hurry, or sometimes just for fun, penguins flop down on their bellies and slide across the ice like a kid might ride a toboggan. In fact, when penguins do it, it's called tobogganing. Last one in is a rotten egg. Just look at you, penguin. Those itty-bitty legs, that squishy belly, that wobbly waddle. No doubt about it, penguins are... So cute. We are irresistible, aren't we? Penguins are flightless birds that live in groups called colonies. A colony can have thousands of puffy little penguins. It's a penguin party out here. With their roly-poly bodies and stubby legs, penguins aren't exactly graceful when they waddle on land or in shallow water. I totally meant to do that. But once they dive into the water, these birds soar. Race underwater. A penguin darting through the sea looks like a bird flying through the air. It swoops, dives, and glides on ocean currents looking for food. Penguins especially love fish and shrimp. When they're full or need a breath of fresh air, they return to the surface to leap back onto the ice or dry land. And then, nap time. Race you to the bottom. Penguins might look like they're wearing tuxedos, but that's so they can hide from predators. Dressed for success, a penguin's snazzy outfit isn't just for looks. It helps protect it from big ocean hunters like leopard seals and orcas. A penguin's belly is a lighter tone to match the daylit surface of the water above, while its back is dark to blend in with the dark water below. This helps a penguin hide in plain sight from predators that hunt in the deep or near the surface. This outfit will make a splash. Penguin species come in all sizes, but that's not the only way you can tell them apart. Each kind also has a unique pattern on its head. Penguin Parade. All penguins are cute, but these species stand out in a crowd. The biggest is Emperor Penguin. Not only are these Antarctic natives the tallest penguins, they grow to about half the height of an average human adult. They're the deepest swimmers of all the penguin species. Smallest, little penguin. Imagine a penguin that's tiny enough to snuggle in a shoebox. This teeny tiny penguin of New Zealand grows to only about a foot in height. Most stylish, the Southern Rockhopper Penguin. You might think this penguin is named for its rockin' hairdo, but actually rockhoppers are famous for leaping across the rocky shorelines of islands north of Antarctica. A layer of blubber beneath their feathers keeps penguins cozy on the Antarctic ice. They'll huddle with pals when it's extra cold. Shuffled feathers. Penguins take turns squeezing into the snug center of the colony where it's warmer. Once they're nice and toasty, the penguins waddle to the edge of the crowd and let colder birds take their place. Scooch closer! But not all penguins live where it's icy. Some species, such as these, waddle in regions with warm, rocky, or sandy beaches. Time to work on my tan. Emperor penguins don't have nests for their eggs like many other birds. Instead, the dad penguin carefully holds the egg on his feet to keep it warm for two months. Daddy will keep you cozy, little buddy. Meanwhile, the mom penguin waddles up to 60 miles across the frozen ice to the ocean to find food. Someone's got to put food on the table. When mom returns, she listens for dad's special call out of the thousands of fathers in the colony. She'll often find a hungry chick hatched from the egg. Mom is home. Let's leave these penguins to their family reunion. Bye-bye, penguins. Ice to meet you. 
Oh, and I have a riddle for you. What do you call a penguin on ice? An ice bird. I hope you liked our story. So cute penguins. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs to the side, just okay. Thumbs down does not hurt my feelings on the count of three. One, two, three.